What's going on everyone? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys sold over $600 worth of books at Amazon FBA and made about $275 profit. This is all gonna be Amazon to Amazon flip, which means all the books that you're gonna see that I bought or purchased on Amazon and then resold on Amazon for a profit. All right, I'm over here on Amazon store. Essentially, you can see that sales today have been around $620, which is kind of right on par with what we've been doing this last week. So you can kind of see a snapshot in time over you know, the last week or so. So $622 in sales today. If I come to the top left up here and go to orders, manage orders, you'll see that I have a long list of you know books, some CDs uh, and DVDs that have been sold today for some pretty good money. And you can see that the first thing that sold actually at 2, 12 a.m. in the morning is a book called Cephalopods, Octopuses and Cuttlefish from the Home Aquarium. It sold for $72.99. And this is a book that's a very uh, niche book, something that doesn't sell very often. If you look at its keeper chart, it honestly doesn't look very good at all. But I came across this book back in April 2023. So quite a while ago, you can see that back in April, you know, this book was right around 80, 90 bucks and got all the way down over a couple day period, all the way down to about, you know, 15 bucks plus shipping. I was able to pick my copy up on April 24th. And you can see that there's a the book right there. So I bought it for $19.33 and it came from the UK. So if we put in uh, the cost price, the buy cost, and then also the sales price. We made a $32 profit, 169% ROI. So, you know, I did buy it a while ago, sat there, but this is kind of my special table as I really like buying books that have really high sales ranks. You know, this is a book to me that over the last two or three years doesn't sell a lot, but it definitely does sell. I mean, if you look at 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, there are a number of sales rank drops. And most importantly, the use price when the sales rank is dropping is pretty high. It's usually upwards of 50, 60, even more than that. Sometimes like you can see here, back in May of 20, I think this was 2022, selling for $149. So you can tell that this is a book that holds value. If you go back even further, again, you can see that this book holds some pretty good value. So I was actually able to pick up two copies of this. I sent one to my house as a replay because I knew this would take a little while to sell, but um, yeah, I was able to sell for some pretty good profit. All right, the next book there we're gonna look at was an incredible flip, Periodontics, Medicine, Surgery, and Implants. We bought this on September 8th. You can see we bought it for a total of $19.11 in good condition. And this actually sold for $129.99. So guys, this is a book we bought on Amazon and flipped on Amazon for a profit so you can see 1911 was a buy cost, 129.99 was the sales price. We made a $76 profit, a 400% return on this one book. And actually I sold this book twice. So I actually did pick up two copies for right on the same price. And if I go to orders here in Seller Central, or sorry, on uh, Cicelario, you can actually see that both the copies sold for $129. So we made about $75 per book, so about 150 bucks on a really cheap purchase price, which is a really great in a way to start this Amazon to Amazon book flipping game. Like, especially if you're kind of new, like one of the questions I get all the time is, you know, can I stop, start if I have capital, you know, less than $1,000, less than 500, you can. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be slower in the beginning if you have less capital, but you really gotta rely on those books that, you know, you can buy for a little bit cheaper price, that potentially can have really high margins. Now, I definitely didn't expect this book to have that high of a margin, but you can see that when I picked up a couple copies, you know, this was hanging out for a really cheap price, right around $13 plus shipping in September here. And I believe that's what I picked it up, right? Yeah, September 8th. Uh, but before that, this had some sell line drops in the 75 to 80 range. If we go back further in time, this is a book that, you know, has easily sold in the 150s. Um, and, you know, this is an older book as well. Like if you look at this, this came out in 2004. I mean, this book is almost two decades old already. And you know, I don't see a new edition listed here. So, you know, if you're kind of interested in the ADA, you know, model buying books that are undervalued on Amazon and flipping on Amazon, I did, you know, just recently come out with an Amazon to Amazon masterclass. You know, I found this book using Keeper Product Finder. And while this video would be way too long if I got into Keeper Product Finder with, you know, kind of what I want to do with the rest of the video, yeah, it just, it would just be way too long. So if you guys want to check out kind of 100 step by step videos on how to find books just like this, then, you know, feel free to, to consider joining the masterclass below. But with that said, Lena, let's keep going. All right, the next book that sold is actually a Charlie Brown Christmas Deluxe Edition. This is a book that uh, was given away uh, at my apartment complex for free. So people always put stuff in the laundry room at my apartment complex. And this is something that, you know, was sitting there for a few days, decided just to, you know, why not sell it? You can see this has an amazing sales rank and you can see, you know, this is a Christmas book that every year does absolutely amazing. Now the thing that makes this not really flippable to buy on Amazon to flip on Amazon is that Amazon's always in stock for right around like 11 or so dollars and that's you know brand new. So you know, this is a book that's very very popular. I imagine that once Amazon no longer sells this in new condition this book is, is going to do crazy. It's probably going to easily be 30, 40, 50 dollars when it comes down to Christmas. But in any case I knew that this would be a book that would be you know very easily flippable. So I sold for 1052. Uh, buy cost is zero. You're gonna see the profit on here says negative, but that's just because 
you know, right now under my total fees, I have a prep fee uh, for my prep center T25, but you know, I just sent this in myself because I, I got it here for free. So did make about in a little over a dollar, but the reason why I sent it in is it has a really high sales rank, or, or sorry, a really low sales rank, so a really high seller rank. And one thing that helps your account is selling products. So it helps increase your IPI, which is basically like how fast, you know, it's a metric for basically how fast you sell your inventory. But then also it helps with your account rating because basically your account health rating goes up as you sell more products. So I figured this would be something that wouldn't make me a lot of money, but it would be a benefit to my business because it would sell quickly on my IPI, it would help uh, boost my uh, account health rating as well. All right, so the next book we sold is Richard Prince T-shirt paintings, Hippie Pulp. So this sold for $70. And this is the book we bought on September 17th. You can see we bought it for $13.55. So we go and put in the buy cost and the sales price and made a $42 profit. Again, that's not a you know, $13.50 investment and we made it 309% ROI. So again, this is something that you're gonna wanna start off with. It's probably books that are under like $17, those are books that have lower purchase prices that, you know, and you're going to be trying to find books that could potentially sell for 50, 60, or 70 bucks. And again, the masterclass issue, a whole bunch of ways that you can do that if you're interested in doing that. But essentially, this is a book that I follow with Keep a Deal. So you can see, had a few sales ring drops in the 65 to 70 range. And then one day just, you know, went from $64 all the way down to $9.55 plus shipping. Uh, and so I decided to pick up a copy and you know, one of the reasons why I decided that is because it's a really low purchase price relative to kind of what it's been selling for the past. So, you know, $42 profit, great book. All right, the next thing that sold is actually not a book, it's actually a DVD. This is to show you that, you know, the Amazon to Amazon model also works for other categories. This was a DVD flip. So you can see I bought this DVD here on September 2nd. I bought it for $9.40. So if we go to put in the 940 uh, buy cost and the $35 sales price, you'll see that I made a $13 profit and 138% ROI. And this is guys, a used DVD flip. So I bought this DVD on Amazon in used condition and then resold it on Amazon in used condition. So again, the A2A model also works with DVDs, which is really cool. So you can see here in September, the price basically went from 79 down to 19, eventually made its way to 540 level plus shipping. And in the past, you know, I had a few, seen a few sales on drops, which appear to be right in the 45 range. Looks like it was out of stock for quite a while, a while. So the used offer count basically disappeared from the graph for a couple of months, um, which indicates that there was nobody listing this. But you know, the real the real reason why I bought this is looking back in the past at the other historical data. So back in 2020, you know, this was in stock new for about 19 bucks. Uh, used prices and new prices, you know, kind of hung out really close together with really, you know, really great sales rank. So sales rank drop. So that just tells me that okay, this actually does have demand. People do want this. And so I thought that that was a cheap price relative to uh, what I could potentially sell for. And boom, there you go. Made a $13 profit on a used DVD. And the next book is Santa Scanmation Picture Book. It's a really cool book. So $19.96 is what it sold for. I was actually able to pick up a whole bunch of these on eBay for $3.22. So if you're not aware, well, first, there's a couple things here. If you're not aware of seasonal book arbitrage, it's the process of buying seasonal books like Christmas books in the off season when the prices are really low and then reselling them during the selling season, you know, during Christmas in this case when people want them. I learned that from one of my good friends, Victor Gallegos. I've done multiple interviews with him. So, you know, check out these podcast interviews with him if you're interested in that model. And then also we actually went live talking about a Christmas list that we built together to be interested in that you can also check out this video here but this is a book that you know bought for 322 sold for 1996 four dollar profit and this is you know uh, a book that does do really well every single year it doesn't really get too high in price but i mean you know it's a nice you know four or five dollar profit per book so if you you know, pick up four or five of them and we can make about 20, 25 bucks off this book. So, you know, this is a book that you can basically buy anytime between end of January to even November and probably gonna do pretty decent here. So yeah, not an amazing flip that's gonna, you know, pay all the bills, but still a, a good book, self profitable, right? Never touch the book, but right to a prep center, made some good money. Our next book is actually a Bible. I do really well with Bibles, sell tons of Bibles. And this sold for $84.96. Uh, I was able actually to pick this up on October 10th, it picked it up for a total of $21.54. So if I go ahead and put it in this, the cost price and sales price, you mean a $40 pro, a $39 profit on a $21 investment. So 180% ROI. So a really great flip there. Scroll down on the keyboard chart. Um, yeah, you can basically see that Jennifer, April, March, uh, you can see that this is doing really well. So in the $60 range, it's selling pretty well. Previously had some sales rank drops that, you know, also in the $90 range, even the $100 range. You can see that what Amazon was selling this has an incredible sales rank. 
the used prices uh, are also really high, you know, up in the 20s, even when Amazon's on the listing at 30. So I knew that, okay, if I'm picking this up at $20, I mean, the demand for this book is absolutely insane. Like, you know, it, it's definitely going to do well. So I picked up, I believe, a couple copies of this book. But uh, one thing you also notice that the buy box used prices, which are denoted by these like pink triangles up here, the used buy box prices are, you know, consistently stay pretty high, even though the used price does tend to come down a little bit. So made a really good profit on that book and that's something that I'll be tracking for the future as well. All right, the next book I sold eight hours ago, 350, you know, was a book called History of Children's Book Illustrations. So we sold that for $44.99 and I actually bought this book on September 26th. You can see I bought it here for uh, $4 plus shipping. Bought it in very good condition there and total buy cost was $7.99, $7 sold for $45, made a $19 profit again. This is the, the bread and butter flips that you're looking for, books that you can buy with low purchase prices that you can turn your money on and make some pretty good profit on. And if you, you know look at the, the keep chart, this is again something that has had some sales and drops in the 40 range, um, and then got really cheap down to about four dollars by shipping. But previously, you know, sales and drop in the 40s, right at the 30s. If you like previously, you know, this is something that generally tends to kind of be priced pretty high, like north of 30 most of the time on Amazon, and have some sales. And you know, one of the reasons why I also decided to get this is. You actually notice that the offer count does ebb and flow quite a bit. And so I'm actually, I would actually bet that this book sells significantly more often than what the sales rate would lead us to believe because we don't necessarily see the sales rate drop yet. We do definitely see the used offer count ebbing and flowing kind of in a similar way to which we expect um, you know, it would tap and flow if it was, if you know, people are buying it. So um, yeah, really good book there, good flip. And yeah, let's go to the next one. All right, so we got ourselves yet yeah, another Christmas book. We got uh, this uh, Christmas sermons book. So we sold this for $24.11. And we picked this up for $5.96. Let me go ahead and show you when. So I bought it in August 20th. You can see that there's the purchase sold $5.96. There's the book right there, $5.96. You know, used good condition. So it sold over $24.11. Made a $5 profit again. Never touched the book. Go right to our prep center. And yeah, we made some pretty good money. So this is yet another book that generally tends to do pretty well during Christmas. Tends to get up into that 20 ish dollar range. Uh, maybe sometimes even more than that with. Uh, uh, you know, with the prime bump and the prime gap. So yeah, make sure you go check out Victor Gallegos. He's got a free Facebook community group page. He gives away tons of valuable information there. Tons of free books. Um, just let him know that I sent you there. But yeah, really great community and a really great guy. He'll teach you a lot about seasonal books. Our right, next book we got is the Complete Illustrated World uh, Encyclopedia of Insects. So it sold for 50 bucks six hours ago. I actually bought this for 13.49. At this point, I'm gonna stop showing you, you know, all the orders. I hope you guys trust me that I'm actually not lying to you that these are books I did buy on Amazon and that, you know, you can see clearly the purchase prices but bought it for 13 bucks flipped it for 50 made 16 dollar profit 123 percent roi you can see that you know when i would have bought this on september 21st this would have been a keep it deals pickup you can see that on september 21st price dropped from 44 bucks only now 13.49 you know i had seen previously a sales rate drop as high as 65 one at 58 if you didn't hear at the 40 range but most of the time these sales rate drops are significantly higher than what i'm able to buy the book at so yeah Never thought it was a good pickup, $16 profit, nice bread and butter flip. All right, the next book is actually a book I got for free. So you can see it says free here. We sold it for $20.34. So, you know, this is just uh, one of the reasons why I use GoToLister, which is a listing software and why I have one, even though, you know, why I use it, even though I have a prep center is because I come across books all the time for free. People give me, and so anyways, this is the book I was able to send in. Sold for $20.34, made basically right around like a $9 profit because again, this would this would take, uh, or this profit right here is assuming that there was a $2.25 prep fee for a prep center, but there was no prep center. So, you know, just again, money in my pocket. It's a book that obviously, as you can tell, has a really high sales rank, and so, or sorry, really low sales rank. So it sells all the time. And so that, you know, the reason why that's good is because if you can send some books in that are, you know, much better with sales rank that are going to sell quickly, that's going to help boost your IPI, it's going to help your account health rating. So, you know, it's a win-win all around and you can make some money. All right, the next book is uh, a book called Phoenix Wright. Sold this for 33 about an hour ago at 10.30 p.m. PST. And um, this is the book we picked up on it. It was on for $6.83, $12 profit, 180% ROI. Again, you know, kind of similar to the to all the other that all the other books, you know, can hold some pretty good used price or pretty good used value, um, and was able to pick it up really cheap when it when the price kind of eroded uh, really cheap. And I think I've sold this multiple times. Let's go and take a look. Yeah, you can actually see I've sold this three times, so 33, 33, 33. So I must have bought quite a few copies here at 
683, you know, really cheap price. You can actually see that when that buy list, it says October 17th. So if you actually look at October 17th, you can see that's the point in time when you know, offer count went from 11 to seven. So there are probably about four copies there. Three of them were already sold. So that means we made about a $36 profit already. Um, and probably one more to sell. So already in the green, even if the last one doesn't sell, but you know, nice bread and butter flip. Let's go to the next one. All right, the last one is actually uh, a CD. So this actually sold 36 minutes ago at 11.04 PM PST. So this is like I mentioned, uh, a CD. And so what's fascinating about the CD here is that it actually doesn't have a sales rank. You can actually see that Amazon stopped publishing a sales rank March, this would have been 10th of 2020. So I'm not sure why Amazon stopped assigning a sales rank because you know, if you go down here in the bottom of the webpage, you know, you actually, you look, normally you'll see a best sellers rank, but for whatever reason, Amazon's not reporting it on the webpage. If Amazon doesn't report it, Keepa cannot scrape it. So Keepa, you know, obviously can't keep track of a sales rank that doesn't exist. So one thing that I want you guys to realize is that, you know, offer count is always going to be a, a pretty good indicator of whether or not that thing is moving. So you can see that, you know, when the sales rank was going down, you can, you know, over, you know, the time period where, where Amazon or where Keepa actually was able to track the sales rank because Amazon was publishing it. You can see how the offer count pretty much always goes down at the same time when the price goes up, right? So that's something that you can see happen here as well, that over the last few years, these prices always shot up during Christmas, come back down here in the off season and done that repeatedly. So this is something I bought an eBay for 593, but for 26, $8 profit. I actually did have to prep this one. My prep center doesn't do CDs, but you know, eight, nine dollar profit. And this is a good example of a, a CD that you know, somebody wouldn't be able to find on Kiva Product Finder if they're looking for sales rank. So one of the, you know, pro tip strategies out there is sales rank isn't always the number one thing you should be looking at off. A lot of times you should be looking at changing offer counts because that might indicate that that item selling. And especially if the, that product or that book doesn't have a sales rank, then you could potentially come across some gold mines, which are really awesome. So again, that's kind of it for this video. If you want to join the Amazon Amazon Masterclass, 100 step-by-step -step videos that go over my process of how to do it. We basically sold a total of 622. We made a profit of $277.50 on that. So really great day. Uh, really fortunate that I can do this on the side. Helps me to be able to you know, invest my teaching income, uh, live well below my means, save a lot of money and invest and hopefully reach financial independence for life. Life. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next one. Goodbye.